everybody. I'm Coke Man 250, and this is Positively Preparing. Why don't you come with me on my preparedness journey? Maybe we can learn something together. Let's do this. So today on Positively Preparing, we're going to wire this CB up to a 12 volt marine battery. And it's pretty simple installation. I'm also going to set up the antenna outside and if you notice I just have a six foot fiberglass whip that goes on a truck. It's probably not the ideal setup but we're gonna see what happens. I have this fence post out in front of my workshop where I was gonna take it out. Well I'm just gonna hook my 12 foot 2 by 4 to this post and that's where I'm gonna mount my antenna. That thing's in the ground really good. It's concreted in. Okay, so I got a piece of 2x4 here that we're gonna set the 12 foot 2x4 on top of. And I'll mount this to the fence post. It's just a four, four foot, I guess, four foot top loaded CB 10 meter whip. Uh, nothing fancy. Handles up to 2,500 watts. And uh, just your basic ordinary truck antenna. Now we're going to set the antenna. Okay, as you can see, maybe, I got the antenna ran and wired into the back. Drilled me a hole in the top of my table. Ran my antenna wire up, and now I'm getting ready to add on to the power wire so we can have a little bit of excess. And uh, we don't need but about a, a foot or so and we'll just splice this uh foot and a half of wire in, red on red, black on black. This uh, CB wire comes with an inline fuse and I would suggest putting in some kind of fuse. Uh, you know, a, a 10 cent fuse or if you gotta buy the whole inline fuse it's probably maybe 250, you know, save you a hundred dollar bill on the radio. So, just in case. And then I'm just going to splice this together.
put us a little end on here. We'll just run our wires down. So let's fire this bad boy up and see what she'll do, if anything. Well, it comes on. We got somebody. <laughs> Anybody up at that line, Jay, you think they can whip my ass? <laughs> wow. First time we get her hooked up, we get a fighter. <laughs> wow. Breaker one down for radio check. I hear you, break. Ten four. Well, hell, looks like she works. So. Hey there, driver. This is your near exit 84. I'm looking to get that tractor trailer hand washed or trailer washed out. Come in and see us at the quick truck wash. We're located just off exit 84, past the flying J on that right hand side. Well, I'm picking that up, and that is about. Uh, as the crow flies, probably five miles. So, I'm picking up five miles away. I know where that truck stop, uh, truck wash is. I know where the, the Flying J is. So, as the crow flies, uh, as radio waves go through the air, you're talking probably five miles, I would imagine. So, well, that's pretty neat. I'm glad we had a, uh, a success here. You know, I was kind of worried about it, you know. But, uh... You know, even even if I can't get out any further than this, I'm gonna have I got a guy I work with who's gonna help me test this. He lives about the way the crow flies. He lives about 15 miles away, so uh, he's gonna help me test this thing and and see if we can reach each other. But uh, you know, if we can't get out that far, this is a good cheap base station. In, a, in an off-grid situation that is going to it's going to help me stay in contact with uh, my, my homestead you know say say whoever's at my homesteads on this CB and then I'm fixing to hook one up to my four-wheeler so wherever I may be out on the four-wheeler I always have communications with the homestead so this is Coke Man 250 hey there, from the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless everybody. And remember, 
some kind of communication is better than none. Prep smarter.